All right there, guys. I'm going to clean up this Pro V1, which is who knows how long this thing's been in the lake. It's about as dingy a ball as you can imagine. So I'm going to clean up this ball, and I'll play a few holes with this. I've got maybe 20 more. We'll clean those up, and we'll test those inside against some regular Pro V1s. See what we get. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm my way in. Gotta hit more greens. My game. All right, guys, we got 103, little downwind, so we're gonna hit a 48 degree wedge. Ball, this is downwind. Ball didn't really feel like it flew that well, but I didn't really hit it that great either. So uh, we'll go with a 48. had zero spin on it. Not sure if that's the way I hit it, uh, but it had no spin on it. The ball hit and released quite a bit. I'll show you when we get up there. It actually rolled about 30 feet, but it is downwind, so it just hit pretty hard. It's a little downslope by the pin there. All right, guys. Next is a par three. We'll go play it from uh, we'll play it from 170. It's a little change of plans. We got some people coming up on us, so we're gonna play 15th hole out here. Play it from 362, par four. The creek down there. We're just gonna hit a five wood to get us in position. I'm standing over that ball thinking this is the my least favorite club in my bag to hit so I got to work that out but I had a really bad shot left of the fairway but I have a long way in so that'll give us an idea how the ball plays on a longer shot into a green got 170 to the pin have to hook it around the tree a little bit but uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem we want to keep it below the pin here and it is into the wind so this should keep me below the pin okay I was wrong I hooked it too much which made it go a little longer and it didn't keep me below the pin so I'm gonna have a kind of an impossible par here uh, but let's see what we can do the video probably doesn't do this slope justice but this is one of those slopes to where you made a mistake you just have to take your punishment not try to get too cute with it I will try to get under it a little bit but most likely I'm gonna have 20 plus feet coming back up this hill There you have it guys it's probably about i don't know if i could have done much better really we got about 15 or feet or slow severe slope left to right and again not a putt we can be too aggressive with from that spot we can't be too upset with a bogey it's kind of a good score from there actually we just put ourselves in a really dire situation and we just basically hit a hit a pool hook at an unfortunate time
this hole into the wind like this is kind of tough for me not to bail out stay with it did not bail out and i think it might have bounced to the just beginning of the fairway could have some kind of some kind of short iron into this green long little wait there because i had a group off of the one hole that hooked it in my fairway and didn't really pay any attention to me so they just went just looked for a ball for like five minutes so made me a little tight but uh made decent contact we got 115 left to the pin so we're gonna hit a pitching wedge going up this hill and uh tendency is to hit it a little bit left when we do that so up the slope so we're gonna air a little bit to the right of the pin Got about 15 feet up the hill. We're just a little short of pin high. Well, guys, so far this Pro V1, the submerged Pro V1, I can't really tell much difference. Um, back there, I hit a like a three-quarter pitching wedge, flew. Uh, uphill probably carried about 110 yards which for me that's about how far that that ball normally would fly the drive flew pretty well 15th hole i, I hooked the ball a little bit but it flew a little even past the pin so this ball is flying pretty good it's just a question in my mind are the spin numbers going to be off or is it just a few yards shorter it's going to be hard to tell but uh let me play i'll, I'll finish out this 18th hole since i'm here and uh we'll We'll see what we can find out. From 50 yards, the 54 degree wedge I hit here, the Pro V1 and the Tylus Pro V1 submerged ball were basically identical. With the seven iron, we had two miles per hour less ball speed. The launch was almost a degree lower, spin a couple hundred RPMs lower, and the carry was three yards shorter with the submerged Pro V1. With the 4 Hybrid, again, 2 miles per hour less ball speed. Launch, again, was a little bit over a degree lower. Although the spin here was 400 RPMs more, and then the carry was 5 yards less. With the driver, 3 mile per hour loss in ball speed. Launch, about a degree higher. Spin, 300 less and carry four yards shorter for a four yard total shorter distance with the driver hey guys if you're interested in a video on the difference between a new wedge an old wedge and an old wedge with dirty grooves click the video above if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time mr short hitter out See now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back.